Joining me with more is Alex Kenji, president of O'Leary Ventures. He is in Toronto. Good to see you, Alex. Good to see you, Jennifer. What are we to make of these numbers, and does this confirm that the country was in recession? <laughs> Am I allowed to use the R word? Go right ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look, it, this is what it is. The economy is getting smaller. GDP is shrinking. That's a recession. I mean, what else do you call it? At least that's what I say. The issue is manufacturing and looking at these numbers because there was optimism and hope that the manufacturing would come back a little bit or, or carry the rest. Absolutely. You know, when this, when these troubles first began, it all started with the oil price collapsing and that immediately hit the oil and gas sector and then, but it also hurt the loonie. When the loonie fell very quickly as well and the central bank helped it fall even further, there was a lot of hope that manufacturing would take advantage of the cheaper currency and basically ramp back up and offset the decline from oil. But that didn't happen at all. In fact, now we're seeing that this virus that started out in oil and gas is spreading to all kinds of industries, including manufacturing, which actually got hit the hardest in the last month. It's not good news. Yeah. What might be the, the trickle-down effect from, from these numbers? Will we see the Bank of Canada react, in your opinion, perhaps with even a further cut to the interest rate? I wouldn't rule it out. Or the Bank of Canada rate, sorry. I, I wouldn't rule it out. I think the big fear that they have to balance against is, is a kind of pass-through inflation effect. You know, as consumers, uh, people are already noticing that the price of imports are going up dramatically. The further the interest rate goes down, the more the Canadian dollar could go down, which theoretically is helpful for lots of industries, but it also triggers some negative effects. So it's going to be a tough decision. Yeah. How long do you think, Alex, before we can expect recovery? Depends how you define recovery, right? Mm. Um, there are some silver linings here, some, you know, bright spots that suggest that the technical recession shouldn't last much longer. There are some positive numbers on the jobs front. The economy is creating um, lots of jobs, surprisingly. And the U.S. recovery, which finally seems to be sort of, sort of slowly coming along, that's going to cause Americans to finally start spending again. And some certain percentage of that is going to come to Canadian goods and services, which are, of course, cheaper thanks to the low dollar. So those things do suggest the recession should end, but you know it's not going to be anything exciting, anything to write home about. We may have growth around 1% this year, if we're lucky. You know, you touched on jobs, and that was a positive for Canada, to many people's surprise, but how mm -hmm. much longer can that be sustained when we're hearing about job cuts in the energy industry and when manufacturing is not stepping up like we were hoping it will? How long is that sustainable? I think you're asking exactly the right question. The jobs numbers were a bright spot, but they were also very surprising. Nobody expected that, and I don't think anyone's expecting it to continue too much longer. All right. Good to talk to you, Alex. Alex Kenji, president of O'Leary Ventures. Thank you.